hello guys welcome to my channel in this video i'll be making this kind of beautiful gown with basque effects and these are the measurements i used in making the gown i'll be using a two yard scrap material for this i'm going to be folding my fabric into four i've already splitted the fabric into two each the front and the back piece the shoulder I'm working with is 16 inches divided by 2 would give me 8 inches. I'm going to be coming down by 1 inch then I'm going to roll a straight line. From that 1 inch I'll be marking down my arm O line. The measurements for my arm O is 16 inches divided by 2 will give me 8 inches. I just did that and I'm drawing a straight line down as my arm o line my arm o divided by two would give me four inches i'm going to go in by an inch there and connect the line to it so from my shoulder to my bust is 10 inches from my bust to my waist is 14 inches i'm going to be rolling a straight line there I'm going to be inserting my measurements. My round bust is 34 inches divided by 4 would give me 8.5 plus 2 inches allowance. My waist is 28 inches divided by 4 with 7 inches plus 2 inches allowance. Then I'm going to mark that out and draw a straight line there. For my bust band that is my nipple to nipple is 4 inches. I'm going to trace that out to my bust points. Then then i'm going to cross check the measurements i just inserted to make sure it's accurate before cutting that out i'm so sorry guys i did not realize my hand was blocking the camera on time i hope you guys will understand this video please bear with me For my neckline, I came down by 3.5 inches and the width of 3 inches for the front. I'm going to be connecting that together. For the back, I came down by 1 inch for the back and I'm going to connect it to the current inch. I'm going to cut out the back neckline first before cutting the front. For my zip allowance, I want my zip to be balanced. So, after cutting this out, I'm going to be minusing 1 inch from the zip allowance. I'm going to be minusing that to the upper part. Then, I'm going to cut it out. After cutting it out, I'm going to be going up by 1 inch and I'll be going in at the side by half an inch. Then I'll be marking the 2 inches allowance I added to the, to the um, material. Then I'm going to be connecting that to, I'm going to be connecting the half inch to the 2 inch in a slanted way. I hope you guys understand. After doing that, I'm going to be minusing the one in which I came in with from that side. Then I'll cut it out. I've already folded this part into four just like the half length. I'm going to be minusing the 15 inches I took for the half length. And I'm going to take 30 inches here. I'm going to be inserting my measurement. My waist measurement is 28 inches divided by 4 would give me 7 plus 2 inches as my allowance is 9 inches from my waist to my hip is 8 inches on that 8 inches i'll be marking my hips measurement my hip is 37 divided by 4 would give me 9.25 plus 2 inches will give me 11.25 for the down part i'm going to be minusing 1 inch from my hip and i'm going to take 10 inches there i'm going to mark that out on a straight line from my waistline i'm going to come down by 5 inches it depends on what you want i don't want mine to be that short that is why i'm coming down by 5 inches so i'm going to be connecting from the 
edge of this fabric to that place i marked out to five inches it depends on the shape you want at the end you shape it whatever way you want yours to be this is how i want mine to be and if you want yours to be a bit shorter you can go in by three or four inches i'll be cutting this out now for the zip parts of this part, I'm going to be doing the same thing I did for the front. I'm going to be minusing one inch from all sides. I'm going to minus one inch from the allowance to the up parts. After minusing the one inch, I'm going to cut it out. I'm going to come up by one inch and I'm going to go in by half an inch. After that, I'll be tracing the half an inch to the upper part and I'm going to be cutting it out. If you do this process, you can decide not to put that in your clothes and you can put it if you want to. Then I'm going to be marking out the four inches I marked on the half length. I'm going to notch it as my dart. This is the fabric I'm going to be using for the gather the down parts. I just minus the 30 inches that I took for both the half length and the skirt and what I got was 46 inches. That's the that's what I got. If you want yours to be short, you can settle for 30, 9, 38, or 40. If you want a short gown, I want mine to be a long gown. The width of the fabric is 55, and I cut out two of this kind for both the front and the back piece. You can increase your width from 55, so yours will be more full than mine. I went ahead to turn in my neckline with my clothing bias neatly and I attached the half length to the skirt. I repeated the same process on the back so I'm going to place the two back on each other in order for me to know where my zip is going to stop. I'm going to fold it well so it to be accurate. I'm going to pin the two, the two edges or the two neckline together then i'm going to place my zip on it after arranging it well to know where i'm going to stop after placing my zip on it i'm going to pin the place where my zip is going to stop and that is where i'm going to sew down before attaching my zip to my gown Before I insert my dart, I'm going to be folding this into two equal parts and I'm going to be measuring out four inches. That is my nipple to nipple point. Then from that four inches, from my shoulder to my bust point is 10 inches. I'm going to be using the measurement on the roller to indicate that 10 inches down. Then I'm going to draw a straight line down. I'm going to repeat the same thing for the down. I'm marking out 4 inches. Then I'm going to mark down 4 inches there also. And I'll be connecting it to a straight line. I'm going to be folding the area I marked with that shock. And I'm going to pin it down and sew my dart on that area. After pinning it, I'm going to sew my dart like that. I just finished sewing the dart for both sides.
for the back that I'm going to be measuring from my shoulder to 7 inches for the width I'm going to be taking 4 inches that is my nipple to nipple point then I'm going to draw a straight line down for the down part I'm going to take 4 inches also for the width and the length I'm going to take there is 5 inches then I'm going to be connecting it on a straight line I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side and pin it together and after pinning it together I'm going to sew my dart on that line I just finished sewing the both side and this is what is looking like for the back. For my ruffles I went ahead to make a gather stitch on my sewing machine and I'm drawing one rope at the side. I'm drawing it carefully, you have to be careful on this side because any mistake you have to start from the beginning. So I'm going to be gathering it like that so I like get to the length I want it. I'm going to measure it round and see the length I will get. After measuring it round, I got 18 inches. I'm going to bring in my gown and check the edge. So I'm going to measure around the edge of my gown and see if it's more than or up to 18 inches. If it's more than if it's more than 18 inches, I'm going to readjust the gathers to get the exact length that is under my gown, then to attach it to it. After measuring the under of the gown I got 28 inches that means I'm going to readjust my gather till it's 28 inches then I'm going to attach it to the gown After adjusting my gathers to 28 inches, I went ahead to attach it to the gown. I attached the two shoulders of the gown together by half an inch and this is what the gown is looking like. For my sleeve, the length of my sleeve is 22 inches and the width is 9 inches. So it's folded into, into 4. I notched the middle and I'm going to attach the sleeve to my gown. I'm going to spread my gown out at the right side. I'm going to be bringing in my sleeve and I'm going to be attaching the sleeve from the middle. The middle of the sleeve where I just notched, I'm going to attach it to the middle of the arm or also. I will start from the middle so I will get an accurate result on both sides. So I'm going to be pinning the sleeve to the arm or area with my office pin i'm going to do this for one side first then do it on the other side also so the material will be equal on both sides
after doing this i'm going to sew it wrong make sure your two materials the arm o and the sleeve make sure it's the two right side that is facing each other after the pinning down i'm going to sew it wrong For the edge of my sleeve, I'm going to be adding elastic band to it. I went ahead to my sewing machine to stitch the sleeve to the gown. I added the elastic band also and I inserted my body measurements and sewed the gown inward and this is the finished look of the gown. This is what it's looking like. I've hemmed the under and this is the final look. With this we have come to an end of this video. Thank you guys for staying with me. Please subscribe to my channel and like this video. Turn up the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload a new video. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.